All right, so it's been a second and I really want to try and get back into life gen because I really enjoy this like, version of clan gen. So last time we played, Cool Leopard, our main character here, kind of got demoted. Um, and a series of events happened and the deputy who replaced us ended up dying a few moons later. I didn't directly cause that to happen. But who knows, maybe Pool Leopard did, or organized something in a way that, you know, we, the audience, couldn't have seen it. But after we got rid of Olive, who was the one who took over, Cosmo here became the next deputy, and so now we're like, ooh, I don't want to be the cause of death for another cat, and there's no way I'm going to end up getting into the deputy spot like this, so I'm just going to try do what I can. I really wonder what this option right here means. I don't know. But, uh, Pool Leopard, let's go on a patrol. Pool Leopard looks at the small stream they have to cross to continue to mark the border and debates if they should stop for a quick swim to cool off. They get distracted while splashing in the water. Pool Leopard swears they saw a fish, but it derails their border patrol completely and they get nothing done. Alright, Pool. So, Pool Leopard, go walk around. Nelder asks you to share a story of your most daring adventure. It's an opportunity to share your experiences and expire young cat. You captivate the clan with your tail, filling their eyes with wonder. They appreciate your storytelling and the cats beg for more stories in the future. Do we even have kits around here? Oh, we have one. I was scared that Pool Leopard was becoming delusional again. This heart right here, is it always D, or is it just kind of like going out with a cat that we like as like a... Just like a relationship type deal. I don't know, uh... Add cat and go on patrol. You wanted to get closer to Fuzzy Fur for a while now, but you're not quite sure how to do it. An idea strikes you, as you consider asking Fuzzy Fur if they'd want to accompany you on a morning stroll out of camp. You gather your courage and ask. But you know you failed as soon as Fuzzy Fur averts their eyes and shifts their paws awkwardly. They try to let you down gently, but their rejection stings sharply in your chest as you watch them walk away. Fuzzy, why don't you want to spend time with me? That's kind of me. Well, that's fine. Moonflame, you're... You know, let's talk to the new deputy. Let's see how we're feeling. There's too much to do right now. Let's talk later. Okay, well... Also, you're a woman. I'd... I always think the genders are the opposite of what they actually are. I should always check before I do their voices. <laughs> how about you, Fuzzy? You wanna talk to me? Uh, let's not flirt with you. Hey, Pool Leopard, how about a joke? What did the tree say to its mate? I would never leaf- Uh, uh, ow. Laughing hurts. Imagine that. <laughs> ow, again. Fuzzy Fur, you're not doing too well, are you? Well, we'll go ahead and time skip one moon. Nothing interesting happens. Marsh Cloud, Pool Leopard, and Plover Kit took a sun bath and had a small talk. Ashnoot shares a joke about the neighboring clan with Pool Leopard. Pool Leopard tells Mike Nose to count on them for a difficult situation. Cotton Star heads to the medicine den, hoping that Edelwhiskers will give him some poppy seeds to help tap in the nightmares of infecting them. Are we in war against? Oh, I guess we're in war. I didn't realize. Elm Spots wakes and wails, their dreams being haunted by visions of their dead loved ones. That's Brutal. Yeah, we're definitely in a war against Apple Clan. I totally forgot about that. They wish the war would end, though, so that's looking promising for us, at least. The patrol hears desperate screams coming from a nearby lake. Proceed. As soon as they see the bag wailing and screaming, they jump into action. Unfortunately, Podmos was just a tad too slow and got kicked quite hard against the tree. Pool Leopard orders the patrol to protect and carry Podmos while they retreat with pain in their hearts for the unknown cat they could have saved. Jeez. Podmouse got broken bone. What kicked us? Was it something in the bag or something holding the bag? Or is it Podmouse that got a broken bone? Ugh, that is not good. Let's check up on them. Psh, mouse brain fuzzy for trying to imprison me on my nest over something that's not even a problem. I'm completely fine, more than fine. I could run laps around camp. I could triple my workload. Only Fuzzy Fur would listen. Todd, you have a broken bone. Give yourself a break. Ugh, oh, Moon, I need to talk to you. I'm stressed about this. Hmm? Oh, hey, Pool Leopard. Sorry, I just got back from Moon High Patrol. What are you doing up? I saw an owl while we were out. Swooped over, just over our heads. 
It was wonderful. I love the night sky. Imagine being able to fly. You could see Silver Pelt with so much detail up there. Better than nearly anything. Moonflame, you would love this little clan that I have going on called Wing Clan, where all the cats just have wings. I, I swear, you... Maybe you had a first life there, and this is like your reincarnation of another cat. Actually, Moon, let's flirt. Let's, do you think they would bring us joy, or... Would it be a hassle to take care of? Bro, Moonflame is asking me for Kit. Let's go. Your deputy is forming a border patrol. Do you want to volunteer? Yeah, sure. I don't really like the deputy, but I do want to try and make amends for what I, the place that I've kind of settled myself in my clan right now. You volunteer for the patrol, but they get distracted and miss narking a scent marker. Your mistake is pointed out, but forgiven. Okay, well. Flower Drop, you want to go on patrol with me? You and Flower Drop are out on a walk alone at the rise of dawn. You take a moment to sit down on a small hill and look at the rising sun. You wonder if this moment could become something more intimate between you and Flower Drop. You slowly inch closer to Flower Drop and lean your head on their shoulder, but they glare down and scoot away uncomfortably. Ouch, that was awkward. Okay, so I think that is like a romantic, specific type of troll thing going on. Not entirely sure, but it seems to. It seems a little bit more, uh, romantic. Can I still go on patrol? Do you have scars on you right there? Is that part of your pattern? No? No scars? Okay. That is just your pattern. Time skipping one moon. You challenge a clanmate to a friendly race. The laughter fills the air. A pleasant respite from everyday hustle. Doubt over a star clan message plagues your mind. The cryptic words hang over you, filling your thoughts. Ooh. That's pretty ominous. I wonder what the star clan vision was. Cool Leopard is jealous that Podmouse got praised by leader. Podmouse just broke a bone. Suck it up, Cool Leopard. Oh my gosh. The other clan leaders pushed Droplet Clan and Dappled Clan to make peace at the last gathering. No, I really like this, like, uh, camp structure and stuff. It just looks so cozy. Just all the mossy, like, stones and stuff. They look nice to just rest on. Let's see. Cool Leopard, let's add you and Moonflame. We'll just go on a patrol together. Moonflame finds a loner who offers their healing skills in exchange for shelter. Sure. New medicine cat is welcomed into the clan along with their litter of pits. Yo, okay, hold on. So I think Pear is our new medicine cat. Yeah. And then, who else did you bring in, Pear? Or you don't have parents listed. Right, but anyways, uh, Newt Kit, Foggy Kit, Chestnut Kit, Gentle Kit, and Chirp Kit seem to be all Pear's kids. Chirp Kit is such a cute little name, I like that one. Public clan can never have enough cobwebs. Eetle Whisk Goose instructs their team, leading them out to search for them. Eetle Whisk Goose murps with laughter, watching Ash Newt parade around with such a big bundle of cobwebs that they can't- Such a big bundle of cobwebs that they keep colliding with things in their path that they can't see. The entire patrol has gotten a wonderful hole, and is very pleased the medicine cat that leads them back to the camp. With Leafball washing the world in tones of reds and browns, Fuzzy Fur feels the need to gather as many elder leaves as possible. Before the season turns and the clan must survive, with new stalks during Leaf Fair, there's no particular tree and sheltered dip along the stream that they want to check on today, bringing a group of their clan mates with them. Elder leaves being used to soothe brains, and elder leaves having to be gathered in such a way that risks brains is truly one of Star Clan's little ironies, Fuzzy Fur reflects. They share the little joke with the patrol and the cats murk with amusement, but it does also remind everyone to be careful as they strip leaves from the tree. And it's always be good to be careful. Let's see, let's wander around camp. During a hunting patrol, you spot a large, plump squirrel. However, it's close to the shimmering clan border, and crossing it could lead to a skirmish. I'm gonna proceed. We just got out of a war, but eh. we You attempt to catch the squirrel, but a shimmer clan patrol spots you. A fight ensues, and you return to your clan empty pod. So, that could end bad. I hope that Cool Leopard has kids so that, like, whenever they do pass on, we'll have somebody to kind of follow next. Um, that's related to them. I... Enjoy following a cat that's related to our main character. Nothing interesting happens. Ida Whiskus appreciates Pool Leopard's helpful attitude. Pool Leopard wonders what Fur Fuzzy Fur thinks about mates. Pool Leopard, are you having a crush? And Air and Pool Leopard actually got along better today. New Kit wishes they got their pelt to shine like Pool Leopard's. Oh, slight ne negative effect. That's not good. Uh, Moonflame. Oh, I um like your eyes too. They're really pretty. Thank you, Moonflame. 
Cool, I've heard everything okay? You've been staring at me for a while. Oh, you're cat watching, aren't you? Moonflame lets out a murk of amusement and sits next to you. Oh, Pool Leopard, look here. You turn your head to look at them once again. Look, it's Moonflame. They're staring at Pool Leopard, and they're staring back at them. I wonder what they're up to. Both of you let out a chuckle at this. You're really funny, Pool Leopard. I love spending time with you. Dude. These cats, they're gonna... They have such a romance. I love them. I'm glad that Moonflame was patient with Pool Leopard's little bout of craziness that they had the last few moons. They were just very upset about being demoted. So let's see, Pool and Moon, I'm gonna add you two together on a romantic patrol this time. You and Moonflame take a walk along the edge of the territory. Trees gently swaying and the birds calling in a breeze overhead. You notice a strap of leaves clinging into Moonflame's fur and consider brushing it off with your tail, but no, would that be too weird? You gently brush your tail across Moonflame's shoulder blade and they thank you with a purr that's a little too warm for the simplicity of the favor. In the crisp, cool air of the leaf fall morning, it should be easy to find wild garlic by scent. Itowiskus lends a gathering patrol to just do that. Try as they might, Itowiskus can't quite remember the exact shape of the garlic leaf. And they aren't going to harvest from plants they haven't confidently identified. Better safe than sorry, as they say. The patrol hears a cat begging for their household to come back, just barely legible over the sounds of the monster speeding away. They discover the cooling body of the kitty pet. It seems to have attempted to run after their two legs, but was run over by another monster. Ashen Newt silently sends a prayer for the pity pet, but can't help but to curse the two legs who abandoned such a loyal cat. Pool Leopard almost got lost near some two leg nest. Pool Leopard, stay away from the two legs. Didn't you learn their then didn't you learn your lesson last time? Okay, so I know like not blood related, nothing's bad going on here. But I wanna say that Pool Leopard sibling Elm Spots is apparently with Pike Shade. But Pike Shade was one of the mates of our parent, Pontrot. So, essentially, Elm Spots is mates with their stepdad. Okay, then. I don't really like that. <laughs> also, I'm going to mark Moonflame as our favorite. Just because, um, keeping track of, like, family tree and stuff, I like doing... Your hunt is interrupted by the sight of a beautiful sunset. The peaceful moment reminds you of the beauty in your home. And I comfort a kit who is scared during a thunderstorm. Shade announced they're expecting kit. Dang, Pike Shade. Oh, you're a woman. Again, with the confusion of genders, it just doesn't happen. Like, I just, I don't remember them ever. It's craving the taste of frog. Alright, I mean, fair enough, I guess. Pool Leopard had each spore bump into them, and they didn't even apologize. In the middle of playing, Gentle Kit sneezes so hard that they fall over. Again, this is really becoming a pattern. Gentle Kit, do you have an illness going on? I'm scared. Oh, just allergies. Born with this condition. I didn't know uh, allergies was like a condition that you could have on here. Also, I want to look at the kittens now that they have like bigger sprites. Newt Kit. Oh, Foggy Kit has such a cute little like moon kind of marking going on on their face right there. Chestnut Kit is so cute. And Gentle Kit looks just like them, the little twins, and Chirp Kit, little thing. Let's go ahead and go on another date with Moonflame. Hopefully if I just, you know, riz Moonflame up enough, they'll just have kits with me. You ponder whether you should ask Moonflame on an evening patrol with just the two of you. The warm breeze blowing may stir up some hidden feelings. Hidden? I don't think they're hidden anymore, but sure. Moonflame happily agrees, saying they'd love to go out with you. The two of you wander through Droplet Clan's territory. You find yourself staring at them for extended periods of time. How have you never noticed their beauty? That's pretty sad seeing that you guys are mates, but whatever. In the crisp, cool air of leaf fall morning, it should be easy to find wild garlic by scent. Eh, uh, same thing as earlier. Yeah, yeah, garlic's so hard to figure out, yada yada. So here's our camp so far. The nursery's full of little kits over here. The two of them are hanging out in the leader's den. That's adorable. Talk to Podmouse, see how they're doing. This mouse brain medicine cat trying to imprison me in this den over something that's not even a problem. If only the medicine cat would listen. And you know, just complain about the same thing, okay. Well, how does Fuzzy Fur feel about that? Greetings, Pool Leopard. So I've been working on this big plan of mine and I need feedback. I want to throw a party for Elm Spots. I'll go out of my way to catch as many juicy fresh kill for them as possible, and then collect some plants to decorate the camp with. Oh, and then for games, I'll draw a mouse on the ground and you will use this twig I found for a tail. And then I'll cover somebody's eyes with my tail and we'll 
play pin the tail on the mouse. Cosmos Bark isn't invited, though. They are rude to me yesterday. Alright. Good good to know, Fuzzy Fur. So I assume it's their birthday soon or something, or... Maybe you're just trying to flirt with somebody, who knows. Check up on, uh... Is saying that they don't deserve their full name? Are you saying that because, like, you don't have a suffix? Are you saying that you don't want a suffix? Or that you're undeserving of one? That makes me so sad to hear. Why would you say that? I'm, now I even more want to talk to you. Hair is sleeping. Better let them rest up. Fair enough. Pike Shade, I've been talking about you. Pike Shade hums a catchy tune. Oh, hey, Pool Leopard. Coming up with a song. Want to hear it? No? Oh, come on. So what is our thoughts about a lot of people? Let's see. Moon Flame and Eyes Romantic Love is flaming, to say the least. Look at that. Got decent platonic light for my tail. Beach Boar, Fuzzy Fur. Oh, we dislike. We dislike a lot of people. What the heck? Peach Spore, Fuzzy Fur, Cotton Star, and Ada Whiskers, we all have dislike for. Dislike for Canned Air. We dislike Cosmo Sparks. We dislike Cedar Grove. We dislike Pod Mouse. We dislike Flower Drop. We dislike Dis Delilah Snap. We don't have, like, green relationships with anybody except for Moonflame. We genuinely just care about Moonflame, it seems. <laughs> oh. I figured out how to murder. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe we'll save that for later. Oh. We can request apprentice. Change accessory. We only have herbs. I have kits. Okay, well. Cool, okay. Oh, well, okay, now I want to see if we have kits. Dang. Oh, wait, we are. You found a new accessory, Rosy Maple Moth. You choose to store it in a safe place for now. Oh, I just complained about the accessory and immediately got more. Cool. Full Leopard announced they're expecting kits. They won't move to the nursery yet. In a large hunting party to prepare for a leaf bear. You save a clanmate from falling into a fast-flowing stream. Their grateful nods warms your heart. You deflect a kit's question about where kits come from. That was really funny timing. It's just like, oh, you're having kits? Hey, wait a second. Where do kits come from? Danger lurks near the camp. With a loud growl, you alert your clanmates, ready to protect your home. Oh my, what is... <gasps> Ooh! Pikeshade thinks he'll have a large litter. Very cool for Pikeshade, but, uh, Perry has died from an infected wound. It's always the ones with fun names that die, I swear. Medicine Cat from Dappled Clanat comes asking for herbs. We decide not to share a horse tail. Newt Kit has gotten kitten cough. Ooh. My tail has confessed their feelings to Podmouse, and they have become mate. And then Might Tail was caught sharing prey with a rogue was chased off by patrol. Immediately, just trying to flirt with somebody else, I see. Patrol catches the scent of a fox. Is it red or gray? Tracking it, they find a stocky gray fox feeding on a dark deer carcass. Either a small doe or one of the latest new leaf spawns. A small gray fox could not take on a prey this size. He must have found the carcass, and now Droplet Clan has too. We should be safe to just proceed. There's a lot of us, at least, so. The patrol launches into battle, keeping the fox on the defensive with teamwork. An act of daring bravery, Pool Leopard darts low to the ground, gets under the jaws, and sinks their teeth into the fox's throat. Holding on grimly, Pool Leopard's daring move gives the rest of the patrol the opportunity needed to bring the fox down for good. Dang. Risking your neck out there. I want to look at this new accessory that we apparently got, though. Oh, we can have more than one! Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Just in case something bad happens, I'm going to save the clan. <laughs> After a long day of patrolling, a cat you're close to invites you to share tongues. Consider their offer, hoping to deepen your bond. You agree, but they don't show up at the greed spot upon later that day. That is so messed up. They ghosted me. So the kits are now becoming apprentices. Newt Paul sits beside their new mentor, Poppy Slip, as the meeting comes to a close. Their claws dig in the ground as they glare up at the sky, wondering why Pear couldn't be with them at such an important moment. Surprising Elm Spots, the first thing Foggy Paw does at their apprentice ceremony is to gather moss. Just to make sure everybody has fresh budding. Bedding. Surprising Ash Newt. Chess Paw does after the da da da, same thing. Newly made apprentice Gentle Paw touches noses with their new mentor, Podmouse. As Chirp Paw touches noses with Might Tail, they hope that they'll be a ghoul mentor and won't assign boring tasks. Anything but gathering moss or tick duty. So, Podmouse is the one that had, like, a broken bone. Who had the broken bone? I think it was Pod. Obviously, they're good now, though. Oh, Pool Leopard. I found this feather. Isn't it pretty? It's so bright. I'm not sure what bird it came from. 
just got back to camp and saw it laying here. I wish I could have seen it. I love watching birds. It's a shame I missed it. Oh, maybe you could wear the feather. I bet you'd look cute with a little accessory like that. Pool Leopard has a litter of five kids with moon flame. Whoa, where'd those kids come from? Pike Shade and Elm Spots. Okay, hold on. Oh, Bite Kit, you're adorable. Song Kit, that's a cute name. Pale Kit, Coyote Kit, Rose Kit, Prance Kit, Fur Kit, Flit Kit, and Gross Kit. Rose, Prance, Fur, Flit, and Grouse are our kittens. Very cool. You come face to face with a badger during your patrol. Why are you patrolling? You shouldn't be patrolling. So I think Pool Leopard's probably just gonna rest until their kits kind of get back to- get up and feeling good. So I think Pool Leopard's probably just gonna sit and rest for a little bit while they kind of recover from giving kits and stuff like that, so. Let's see, Rose Kit now looks like this. Prance Kit. Fur Kit. Flit Kit. And Grouse Kit. Very cute. They're all so cute. Coyote Kit, what's wrong with you? Yellow Cough. As a patrol is checking out the borderlines, they hear an odd sound coming from the nearby bush. Before Cannoli Hair can move to check the bush, a loner emerges with their newborn kits. The cat explains that they would like to join the clan, and after a short conversation with Cannoli Hair, the loner and their family joins the patrol and journey back to camp. So, uh, our, the loner who joined Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi brought in a Shine Kit, Whirl Kit, Copper Kit. This is insane. Also, while I'm thinking about it, it would be good to go ahead and mark all the cats that are related to us, just to keep them in mind a little bit easier. Alright, so we can't really patrol when we're not feeling good, but I will say, let's go talk with Moon, see how they're feeling. Hey, Pool Leopard, are you okay? I noticed Split Kit was uh, chatting your ears off. It's a lot of attention. It's a big deal. It isn't? Oh, okay. There's so many cats. I Our cats just doubled, I swear, just from kit. Oh yeah, and we got a, this loner here. Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi is getting used to their new home. Can't believe we're only 42 moons. I feel like we're so much older than that. <laughs> you reminisce about past adventures with your former mentor. Their fond gaze and shared laughter warm your heart. You challenge a decision made by the clan leader, sparking a heated debate. During a thunderstorm, you shelter in a hollow. The wild dance of nature leaves you in quite awe. You try to sneak up on an elder for a playful scare, but your loud purring gives you away. You discover a new shortcut to the territory. The thrill of discovery fills you with excitement. Moonflame sneaks out at night to sleep in Pool Leopard's nest. That is adorable. Might Tail tries to convince Might Nose to run away with them. Are those two even related? I'm curious. Curious if they have anything going on. No, they're not related at all. Alright, so I think that's a decent place to go ahead and leave off this episode. We had five kits. We learned how to murder. We didn't murder, but we learned how to. Um, and yeah, also, I do want to show off in case, like, you know, anybody noticed. But I did download, like, a little, um, skin for, like, the death sprites and stuff, just because I wanted to play around with that, and I liked how, like, sunset they looked. I thought it was real pretty, at least. But, I will leave, like, the information for this down in the description, like I do with any other, like, sprite mods and stuff. I don't have anybody in the Dark Forest to show off there. Maybe I'll have to get somebody in there. But, yeah, I really enjoy playing this save a lot, and I enjoy getting to see more and more Full Leopard story. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.